Professor Kurt Wittrich, out of doubt, has started a scientific revolution in, in NMR, structure and functional characterization of a human cancer-related nucleosid. It helped to create a new medicines and cancer early diagnostic procedures. The impact of his work spreads on the other fields of knowledge, including pharmacology and also life science and healthcare. The visit of such outstanding scientists at our Arma Art Mater is the part of the Ministry of Defense project. The project is an excellent opportunity to meet famous researchers, deepening our knowledge and sharing our experience. Dear Professor, I firmly believe that your visit will be one of the most memorable events in the modern history of our academy. Once again, I'm very grateful to Professor Kurt Vichy for accepting our invitation. Welcome, Professor in the Military University of Technology. Well, I want to thank you for the very kind welcome. can we expect in the future from these techniques? Because they are so grown, so perfect, so, but still perhaps can be improved. What directions of improvement in this technique can you expect for the future? i give you an example. Um, economists take people, put the necessary coils on their heads, and have the people look at uh, stock market numbers. And these are people who have invested in the stock market and are now watching how their fortune decreases or increases. And while this happens, the economists measure, uh, measure movement uh, of blood in the brain. That's functional imaging. And in this way, they want to find out which parts of the brain are involved when you worry about your stock market investments. That's a very, it's a real example. It's, there are dozens of publications on this. There are others who, who will take pictures of the brain when you have sex. This is also, there are also dozens of pictures. So they, they hope to, to map the brain for the various re regions which are activated, that means which are supplied with more blood than uh, at resting state when you perform different activities. This is, a, this is a field which is in development, which has not yet broadly gone into the clinic, but it probably will within the next five to ten years. They will present a the impact. Who want the international
these are always teamwork. Yeah. yeah. And there are many, many people involved in get not so much in the case of Einstein, who lived in a time where he essentially needed a pencil yeah, and yeah. Uh, and a piece of paper yeah. and worked alone. As far as I know, I do not know of any students of Einstein, to be very frank. Honestly, I don't know. There is no <laughs> history of students. Yeah. In my case, there are close to 100 of my students who are professors now. Yeah, exactly. See, that's very different. So uh, we are experimentalists. And uh, of course, times are different in 1900 yeah, exactly. and in 2000. So that is the, the thing uh, people should remember. Cooperate and hard work. And you shouldn't decide on your own <laughs> that whether or not you have done a good job. Others have to do that. <laughs> okay, the other will decide, okay. So, so okay, so I think that it's the best conclusion of, of, of this, of this short you, uh, interview. And thank you very much, uh, Sarah.